This morning, in an exclusive interview, we are hearing from Azriel Clary, one of the R. Kelly survivors who testified against him in court. Now, on Monday, as you know, Kelly was found guilty on federal racketeering and sex trafficking charges. He could face life in prison. Now, this is not the first time that we spoke with Azriel Clary. We also talked to her back in 2019 in a very different interview. She was still living with R. Kelly and another woman, Joycelyn Savage, at the time. Now, they both defended Kelly and said they were his girlfriends. Here is part of that interview. What is your relationship, both of you, with, with, with R. Kelly? We're with him. That's yeah. our relationship. We're with him. Yeah, we that's what it him. is. <laughs> and we're in a relationship with him. Right. We just said it. Uh -huh. A very strong relationship. A very strong relationship, they said. Both women claimed Kelly was not abusive, and we should note that R. Kelly was nearby and made his presence known to the women during that interview, although we did not know that he was still in the room. We were told that he had left. We sat down with Azriel Clary yesterday, more than two years later. She says our conversation back then was a turning point for her. But I look back at the interview that we did originally, and I'm wondering how you go from that young woman who was very clear, and I have no judgment here. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to understand your process. Um, it was consensual. She was in love with him. She felt he cared about her to making the decision to take the stand against him. I feel like <laughs> that uh, interview was a blessing a because, blessing. you know, like I, I said, you know, uh, for five years, since I was 17, I, I didn't have any relationships with any other woman except for women that he had been intimate with. And so when I did that interview with you, I instantly regretted immediately how I reacted. And, um... You did? You regretted it? Did you? I did. And I, I don't know, something about just watching you be very casual and, and calm and collected, and it just reminded me of me. I was like, wait a minute. I used to be that poised. I used to be that calm. You know, what happened to that girl? Where did she go? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, after that interview, when we went back to Trump Towers, I knew that he knew that by seeing you, it has shifted something in me. Really? Mm -hmm. Shifted to what? It, it kind of made me kind of wake up in a sense and, and, and realize, why am I acting like this? Why am I putting myself through all of this misery? Why am I exploiting myself for a man whom has me in this position in the first yeah. place, you know? And I really had to come to terms and, you know, realize that it wasn't love. It, you know, love doesn't hurt, you know? That was a question everybody was asking at the time. It was, it was really remarkable to see her years later. I had more of our interview with Azriel Clary. She shares what happened before and right after the interview back in 2019 and what made her realize she had to finally leave.